this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what $100 per night gets you here in Mumbai, India in terms of accommodation. I'm here at uh, Marriott Hotel. And I'm going to be showing you guys uh, a tour of my uh, room and the facilities of this hotel, which costs 100 US dollars per night, which is pretty expensive considering uh, India. But Mumbai is generally expensive in terms of accommodation, so yeah. I guess uh, 100 uh, US dollars per night is a pretty good price if you consider other accommodations around this place which are much more expensive. So just gonna head inside now. I'm gonna show you guys a review of my room. There's the lobby area. Here we have the uh, elevator here. I'm just gonna go upstairs to my room and give you guys a short little tour. And then I'm gonna take you guys along with me to the facilities which are the swim pool, the gym. And uh, hopefully tomorrow I can get you guys down with me to the breakfast, which is included in the price of uh, this hotel. Oh uh, yeah, let's go. Well, let me just show you guys uh, my room here from the Marriott Hotel. So this is my room, 618. So here we are. So this is a pretty small room. I think it's a double room. Uh, let's start from here. Basically you have uh, your essentials, some water, which I also put some in the fridge. Uh, you have your coffee, you know, your teas, whatever. Pretty simple. You have a safe, you have a fridge. Here you have uh, some buttons over here. You can either request for uh, cleaning. Uh, you can request uh, so they do not disturb and the lights and whatnot. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Here you have the, the bathroom, pretty small but pretty nice as well. You have a shower, nice big shower with a sitting area in there. And of course your sink, whatever. And as I said, it's a pretty, pretty small room. Then here you have a double bed, pretty simple. A small little sitting area over here. You have a, probably this is the, the best thing of this hotel, a 65 inch screen, which is probably one of the biggest uh, TVs I've seen in a hotel. Another good thing here, amazing Wi-Fi speeds, absolutely incredible, I mean top notch, like I get like around uh, 70 megabytes per second or something, it's insane. And then you have uh, the view here, so there's some rooms that provide you with uh, airport views, because this is basically nearby the airport, not nearby, it's just one kilometer away from the airport, so you can see the planes taking off and landing. Surprisingly enough, you cannot hear anything. So I was uh, considering the sound being a factor that I didn't, I didn't want to deal with, the planes landing and uh, taking off, but actually pretty quiet. I cannot hear anything, never heard the plane, but you can see them if you go up to the pool, which I'm gonna take you later on. I'm gonna show you the view of the airport. But yeah, you have this big, huge window over here with the view and you have this shutter that is controlled by the switches over here. So you can stop it whatever you want. You can open it as as much as you want. Pretty nice, that's a nice feature. But yeah, overall pretty small room as I said. A small little sitting area here, nothing too big. Just a small little uh, pouch on top of some wood with a pillow. It's pretty darn simple. You have a window here. You can open the shutter blind and uh, take a look in the bathroom. But yeah, other than that, really small room and as I said this cost me a hundred uh, US dollars per night so that is pretty expensive now yes you do get a small little room but it comes included with uh, free breakfast every day and uh, the breakfast is absolutely insane hopefully I can take you guys with me tomorrow uh, tomorrow morning when I go down to breakfast you have a ton of options so I'm gonna take you guys tomorrow morning down and uh, show you guys breakfast as well. Now I'm gonna head up, show you also the pool area, and I'm gonna also show you the gym as well. So let's go. So the pool area is actually located on the top of uh, of uh, the hotel. So it's basically a rooftop pool, and you have here a view of the airport. I'm gonna show you guys, but yeah, this is the pool first. A nice little infinity pool. And when you come down from here, you get a view 
of the whole airport over here. You can see planes taking off and landing on the runway. As you can see, there's some, I don't know if you can catch them, lined up for takeoff there. A pretty nice little view spot. You have some music playing in the background. It's a pretty nice spot to chill. But the weather isn't really that good for uh, swimming. Although I might take a dip later on. It's not cold, but the weather, as you can see, it rains, it's cloudy, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. The Asian climate here, uh, it's a bit weird, but the pool is very nice, the pool area. You have a lot of sitting uh, areas over here where you can sit down, relax, whatnot. Ah, it's located on the 11th floor, actually. The only, the elevator takes you up to the 10th floor and then you take the steps up to the rooftop pool here. And then you have another sitting area over here, but it's so wet due to the rain. As you can see, it's basically useless now. But yeah. So let me just take you guys also, show you the fitness center of this uh, hotel. Well, this is probably one of the best uh, fitness centers in a hotel that I've ever seen until now. Uh, it's pretty big, pretty good, and probably has one of the best views. But yeah, this is it. Another good thing, it's open 24-7, so you can come anytime here and it's basically like a private gym. You can open the lights by yourself and put the ambience as much as you want here, so you can change the lighting. You can put as much lighting as you want. You can also connect the uh, Bluetooth speaker from here to your phone, so you can have uh, any type of music you want playing. A bunch of water, both uh, cooled and normal temperature. You have a lot of towels ready for uh, your training and let me just give you a small little quick tour here of the gym basically over here you have a scale you have some yoga mats whatnot and look at this view over here view of the airport you can uh, literally work out and see the planes taking off and landing and you have a lot of treadmills you have three treadmills and they have view as well of the airport over there, as you can see. You have a small little uh, dumbbell rack over here. You have a cable machine. You have a press machine for chest and also shoulders. And you have a lat pull down with the cable roll machine. You have the leg extension and the hamstring curl machine here. And you have also a Smith machine. And you also have a barbell over here. I don't know if you can see that. You have one bench, I think there was another one. Wait, what is the only one? Okay, whatever. And you also have a step, you have some basic attachments over here. For a hotel gym, it's pretty damn good. You can connect your phone, have music. It's pretty good. I enjoyed some workouts up here. Uh, I really do enjoy this view when I'm working out. You can see the planes just taxiing and uh, just leaving and you can see far in the distance planes taking off and whatnot. It's absolutely amazing. It's the first time I probably stay in a hotel which has uh, which is nearby the airport to be honest and it's really nice but yeah that is gonna be it for the pool the swimming pool and the fitness center I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow morning once I go for my breakfast so good morning everyone I'm gonna show you guys a bit the breakfast here at the uh, Mario Hotel so let's start from here basically you have uh, many complex options juice coffee a coffee machine so yeah just the basics you have some uh, Nice little fresh vegetables with some sandwiches, some uh, ham, whatnot. And then you have uh, your French style breakfast, you have your croissant, some donuts, some cupcakes, you know, pretty much some sweets. You have some jams, whatever. You can toast as well. So yeah, that's good. You also have a tandoori chai station. And then you have here, many fresh uh, food options and then you come here at the buffet so you have some chutneys here some sambar as you can see and a lot of options here basically some uh, some dal or some baked beans potatoes scrambled eggs no more eggs and uh, as you can see some bacons whatnot over there you have a personalized dosa maker so you can ask for a dosa, they're gonna cook it for you, they're gonna do it for you. So yeah, as you can see some more options here. And then you have some Indian food over here. We have some chole over there with some puri or whatnot. 
Here you have a personalized egg, uh, egg cooker, so it's gonna basically cook your omelette uh, on demand. So here you have some, uh, I think he does some uh, aloe tea tea, some roti, and right over there you can have your own personal, personalized waffle. So yeah, pretty large options, a lot of things to choose from, and uh, it's very convenient when you have uh, things on demand so you can uh, do your own omelette and whatnot. So yeah, breakfast for me, definitely a 10 out of 10. That was what $100 gets you here in terms of accommodation in Mumbai here at uh, Marriott International Airport Hotel. Pretty good. $100 per night is pretty expensive to be honest for uh, for India in general but Mumbai has uh, really expensive accommodation so I guess it's one of the cheapest options when you try to book a luxury hotel here in uh, in India but yeah that's gonna be the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed the review thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one